Welcome back. In this video, we will solve some word problems using the concept of proportion. So a couple sample problems. In 2003, 15% of Americans had no health insurance. If the US population was 288 million people, set up and solve a proportion to calculate how many millions of Americans had no health insurance. So 15% well, that's the ratio or the fraction, 15 over 100. So 15% have no health insurance. So we have no health insurance over the total number of Americans. So 15 out of 100 have zero health insurance equals how many total Americans have no health insurance, so how many have no health insurance, out of 288 million. So 15 out of 100, how many out of our total equals how many out of our total. That is sounds like a good, well set out proportion. And we know we can multiply the means and the extremes, um, but in this problem I'm going to go ahead and reduce 15 out of 100 right away. They're both divisible by 5, and that simplifies to 3 over 20 equals x out of 288. That makes my numbers pretty easy to work with. So multiplying the means and extremes or cross multiplying, I get 20x equals 288 times 3, which is 20x equals 864. I divide both sides by 20, and I get x equals 43.2. So x is 43.2, which in this case is 43.2 million Americans with no health insurance. Let's take a look at our second sample problem. Lauren's car uses 15 gallons of gasoline to drive 390 miles. Well, I have a ratio here. 15 gallons to drive 390 miles. She has 6 gallons of gasoline in her car and wants to drive 800 miles. Assuming the same rate of consumption, how much more gasoline will she need? How much more will she need? How much more than six gallons will she need to drive 800 miles? Well, I know that 15 gallons will get me 800 miles. So, so 15 will get me. 800. So I have gallons is to miles as gallons will be to miles. Well, she already has 6 gallons. We want to know how many more. So that is 6 plus x. So x is the additional gallons of gas that Lauren will need. And actually, this is 15 over 390. I made a mistake there. So 15 gallons will get 390 miles. How many more gallons over 6 will she need to drive 800 miles? Now my proportion is correct. 15 is to 390 as 6 plus x is to 800. Well, once again, 15 and 390 I can reduce that. Those are both multiples of 5. In fact, 15 goes into 390 evenly. That reduces to 1 over 26 equals 6 plus x over 800. So I do like to reduce to make my numbers a little bit smaller. I can cross multiply. 1 times 800 equals 26 times 6 plus x. So 800 equals 26 
times 6. Eight hundred is equal to twenty six times six. So if I distribute the twenty six, I get one hundred and fifty six plus twenty six x. Subtract one fifty six from both sides, and that's six hundred and forty four equals twenty six x. Divide by twenty six, and then I find out that x equals 24.76 gallons of gas. So she'll need 24.6 additional gallons to cover 800 miles. So to cover 800, she'll need about 30 point, pardon me, 30.76 gallons of gas. So there's a couple of word problems solved using proportion, and we will see you in class.